Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5 and today we have an endurance race here in Andalusia. Now I don't know this track very well to be quite honest with you. I've done a couple of races so far but ultimately I don't really know. Oh massive contact at the beginning of this Grand Prix but uh, yeah I don't particularly know this track too well so we'll see how it goes but we're using the Kawasaki Ninja 7X7RR, and of course this is the EM version from 1996. So honestly, I have not massive hopes for this one as we're already going wide into turn four. I do not know this version of this track very well, so we've got 20 minutes to figure it out and 20 minutes to take victory here in part 25 of our Ride 5 career mode. Now, the AI in Ride 5 aren't particularly strong, even on this highest difficulty, so let's see how things go. I'm moving the fuel down to a more reasonable standard, and hopefully we can have a lunge over the inside of Juan Lewis. It takes one to no one to make a beautiful overtake as the cones get sent to the distance as we close in on Mark McLeod. The Canadian ahead of us is just behind Petra Letalova, the Czech rider in fourth Place. But look at us going completely wide and off track going into turn 12. I did fear that I would get suckered in eventually because I just don't know this track very well. I, I'm not familiar with it and it, it's not its not a track that's easy to work out. There's a lot of blind corners and a lot of long and short entries so it, it's a difficult track to fathom out but the more I play this game, the more I play this track, the better we will become as a collective. So we'll just see what we're going to do and I think the majority of riders are on the Kawasaki Ninja ZX7 double R, so I don't think anyone's going to have a particular uh, clear advantage as we go uh, try to go around the outside of another Kawasaki, but clearly it's not the corner to make that work. Now I do believe I have done this variation before because I recognise this bit extremely well, but I don't know if all the versions of the Andalusia circuit allow you to go into this part and then for the tight apex across the line. I'm not I'm really not happy with our performance so far. Very messy to start this video off as we go around the outside of the Ninja and then onto the brakes. Look at the dust and sand getting kicked up there from Jade Wright and a few other riders ahead of us. Tiago Moreira Rocha was one of the culprits for kicking up the sand and dust into our rider's face. So there is Jade Wright. We'll be uh, keeping an eye on her in this Grand Prix. Never mind, already through on the American now attacking the Brazilian. I want to go steady here because I don't know where my braking marker really is. A bit messy, but I, I guess this part is interesting because you yourselves are going to be witnessing Dr. Race learn this track on the fly. Can I go for a lunge here? Can we go around the outside? No, probably, probably not. Yeah, can we? Yeah, well, why not? Let's commit to it. We're through on Thiago. And now into the left, there is Frederick Murray. He's also on the, the uh, Ninja. Scary stuff going into that drop there into the left hand side. It feels like the bike's going to get away from you, but thankfully it does stay on both wheels. Now hard on the brakes to the corner. I messed up on the previous lap. Not doing that again here. There's Juan Lewis going a bit deep. So we originally got past Juan. Oh my goodness, we're making a mess all over the place here. As I say, I just do not know this track. None of these corners are making sense to me, and I've gone wide again. This is going to be a difficult endurance race for me. If it was only a three or four lap, as you better believe that I would not win this one, but thankfully with still 16 minutes remaining, there's plenty of time for me to fight back and to really fathom out the ins and outs of this circuit as we go hard on the brakes into turn 17. There's a couple of cones there, surprised they've not been battered, same as the one there. So we've got two tights, the apex again. And of course, guys, if you are enjoying the content, now's a great time to do so, because overtakes are coming fast and furious as we try and go around the outside. A little bit of contact, Juan Lewis gives it us back, but thankfully we're still on board the bike and still fighting for sixth position. Interesting, <laughs> but we got the job done. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you do enjoy this video. I'm on the push for 10,000 subscribers and I could do with your support if you wouldn't mind. And of course, I do upload videos every single day as well, so great channel to be be here part of if you want to be watching more Grand Prix just like this. And already... We're up into the top five. Confidence is brewing for myself. As <laughs> Never mind, I didn't have any confidence lunging into turn six. But we are closing in on Letta Lova. Can we? Not quite possible. The number 73 hanging around the outside goes the fellow ninja. And now to the left-hand side again. Is that the same? 
Kawasaki Ninja that we're on? It looks ever so slightly different. Maybe it's just the angle, but look at that. Whoa, a cone got sent to the distance. Didn't see if that was Johan Nielsen or... Whoa, around the outside goes Petrolettel over. Beautifully done from the 120% uh, difficulty AI, but I'm fancying on the brakes. Going, oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, I got a bit too aggressive there. I got a little bit too eager, a bit antsy. There is Petrolettel over. Fair play, maybe I should just stay behind her. Not going to stay behind if I go in too wide like that. But staying behind her could bring us closer to Johan Nielsen. And I didn't quite see who it was in third and second. So that's a... Con oh no, second place. Yeah, there's only one that I need to know. Marilyn Gordon is clearly leading the Grand Prix by a country mile. We're down to 60% of fuel, so Pit Lane will be beckoning us at some point. Up on the inside of Petra. I did have that feeling that Petra was going to hit our rear tyre. It does do that in the AI in this game. Once you get through, they can turn in and you hit your tyre and that's it, you crash, so... Oh, my goodness! I tried to avoid the contact as much as possible there. <laughs> oh, my goodness! I was braking as late as I possibly could as we try now to go around the outside. Beautifully executed and hard on the brakes. We have a beautiful lunge up on the inside, though, from uh, Johan Nielsen. But we're going to fight back up on the inside against the Ninja. We have claimed our third position straight right back. That's what we got to do in a competition like this. When you're attacked, attack again. Pass or be passed as we now line up the move for second place. Yes, the confidence is brewing now. Look how much closer we are gaining time on Marilyn Gordon. We're getting closer and closer. Every lap is the number 47. So onto the power and then move into the left-hand side. Careful. Nice. Move up into the straight line here. Break. And bring it in tight to the apex. Is Marilyn Gordon going to give the tyres a clatter? She absolutely is. Sent them to the distance. Sent them packing. Goodness me. Cones everywhere in the early stages of this Andalusia Grand Prix as we just touch the sand there ever so slightly. Surprised we didn't get a penalty for that, to be honest with you, because we did technically cut the corner ever so slightly. And into the apex now. Back across into the left-hand side. And we've got to remember not to go too aggressive on the power here. Don't want to be running it in too deep. And we are closing in. I'd love to see what our split is in a moment. The split comes just at the end of this straight. Little bum wiggle for you there, just to position the bum back into the seat. And onto the straight, hard on the anchors. We're up by 1.4. Almost 1.5 seconds adrift of the previous best lap time, which unfortunately Ride 5 doesn't show you. Oh, it does, yeah, 157.9. It doesn't show you your other lap times, is what I was uh, referring to, but hard on the brakes. And now into the left-hand side. Marilyn Gordon will be attacked as it goes into the first corner. I'm calling it now into the left-hand side here. The AI goes a bit too tight there, a bit too defensive. She basically just cut the corner. She, uh, am I playing online? Oh, oh, wow, she saved it. She almost went down there. On lap number five, it's about to be a disaster for the... Uh, the female on board, the Kawasaki Ninja, could be looking like a second place finish here for her because we're going on through. We've taken over at the front, going a bit deep. We managed to save it and we managed to take the lead. Just nine minutes it took to get into the uh, to the groove, and that's all we needed. Just shows how much the AI struggle, even on the hardest difficulty, they still couldn't be better than us. Just too strong. But my curiosity now is looking at the fuel. We're actually losing a lot more fuel than Marilyn Gordon is and Anthony Watson, so we're going to have to be careful, and we might either need to reduce the fuel or to pit earlier. I'm not too sure what plan or method I want to run here today, so... I guess we'll do a couple more laps and then we'll try and decide from there. But if we get to around 10% of fuel, then the decision will be made to jump straight into the pits. But I'm curious to see what these guys are going to do behind us. I don't think it's a very long pit lane here. I think the entrance is longer than the exit, so I'll have to gauge it as we go. But I, I, I can only see from what I can see as we go past. So I'll have a better look on this lap and then we can sort of decide where we want to go from there. And apologies if you can see any... Uh, any notifications or anything. I'm getting spammed right now to play both Ride 5 and MotoGP 23. Uh, wait your turn, guys. I'm busy recording right now, but uh, thank you for your interest nonetheless. Of course, if you do want to get online with me at some point, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I do mean to get on with uh, 
some Ride 5 online. They've been doing a lot of MotoGP. Oh, good lord. We've gone down. Entered the corner way too fast this time around for turn 18. And uh, Marilyn Gordon's going in the pit. Apologies for screaming in your ears, by the way, you guys and girls. I just wasn't expecting that crash. What a blunder. I mean, we didn't... We did lose a bit of time. I just changed it down to rain settings because, of course, keeping the, um, the fuel to a minimum is key now. We don't want to be abusing all the fuel. But my lord, I wasn't expecting that crash. It, it, it just went without warning. It felt so strange. But, uh, yeah, that, that happened. That definitely happened. <laughs> just mentioning about playing online and then bang! Good night, Vienna. It was for our Kawasaki Ninja. It's a good job there's no damage on this game. But also at the same time, why isn't there damage in this game? Because that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Let's say if you went back to the pits now and you said, look, we've got to fix this, we've got to fix that. It's going to make things interesting. Down to 24% of the fuel. 22% of degradation is left on the rear. And 32 on the front. So the front tyre seems pretty solid. The front tyre is not even over uh, overheated or anything like that. And to be honest, I didn't even bother changing the tyres. <laughs> if you ever see me just run medium, medium, that probably means I just started the video without changing anything. So... That's a prime example of just another one where I just chuck in medium tyres. Yeah, whatever, let's crack on with it. And let's just get on with the video. It's basically what's happened there. But uh, quick update in the top three. Anthony Watson and Petra Matalova, both with the medium front soft rear tyres. Still have fuel remaining, a lot more than we do. And they're staying out. wonder if they'll be pitting on this lap as we go deep in the brakes into turn 17. Very nice tight apex upon the exit as well. Quick upshift there with the left boot, the XPD boots. I do really like those boots. I think they look really, really nice. I'll probably, probably get a pair of those myself in the future. Who knows? <laughs> I like them. Looks really nice. So do we jump in the pit now or do we do one more lap? I would say we do one more just to be safe. But into the left-hand side, Anthony Watson's pitted. Because we only lost 44 thousand of a second there. What a, what a way to fight back after the blunder on the previous lap. And now Mark McLeod... The, uh, the Canadian is up into the top two positions. Good job for the man who's currently got a lot more fuel than we do. So what's his plan for the... Uh... Oh, wow, we're up by three and a half tenths of a second. Not a good entry into turn six, but we're still up by a few tenths. There's now Jade Wright is up into the third place. Goodness me, both soft front and rear. I'm not sure if that would be a good option, but she went for it. Now, I'm thinking for this video as well, like I usually do in these endurance races. I'll probably not change the tyres. I'll probably just change the fuel. And there it is. There's the first warning, guys and gals. Down to the bottom right corner of your screen. We are low on fuel and we must make a pit stop. And we're up by eight tenths of a second. That's going to be a damn shame because I'd like to finish this lap, but... No way. <laughs> no way. We're down to... Oh, God, I should really be paying attention. Wow, the... the is it me or it feels really strange when you're on rain mode? I just can't get any power on. Maybe it's the lack of fuel. It feels like the bike's cutting out somewhat. Is that intentional? I really tried to make that corner there and the bike just... It just stopped. That was really peculiar. I mean, we got more penalty matches, surprisingly. Still on a fast lap. But of course, this won't matter one iota. Because we're going to get across into the... The final chance for us to pit because, oh, there's no way. Look at that, down to 3%. Where did that fuel go? I hope we've got enough to get into the pits. If not, it'll be holding on to clutch and hoping for the best things to happen. Full power now into the left-hand side. We're still 2% of fuel and across into the pit lane. I don't think you need to slow down for the pit. I think you can actually just go full, like full force, full wing in it, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that here. So anyway... Here it is in the pit. I want to top up the fuel, but I do not want to change the tyres. I think it's more interesting if we leave the tyres with uh, a lot of degradation on them. Keeps things interesting, but... To be honest with what we've seen in previous videos, it doesn't really matter if we have a, a brand new tyre or an old tyre. We still seem to do just fine with either or. So, out of the very short pit lane exit, we're in second place. But Kang Wu, the winner of a... Previous round in Road Atlanta, I don't know if you caught that video, I think it was, I think it was part 24, it must have been the last Ride 5 video I did. It was, it was Kang Wu taking over from like 5th position all the way to 1st in one corner. 
Oh, one lap, should I say. It was absolutely incredible. Definitely check out the video. It was a very, very entertaining race. I think it was the second race on the card. Kang Wu just pulled it out of the bag. It was terrific. But unfortunately for him, I don't think... I don't think he's going to be able to win this race because he's down to 11% of fuel. No doubt he's going to give the cones a battering. He sends them to the distance. It's a shame that they don't stay on the track because it'd be really cool to see how they would be at the end of the race. But I guess for good reason they do, uh, do respawn or at least get uh, vanished into thin air. But we are now closing in rapidly on Kang Wu. He won't be leading this one anymore. Not a chance. Marlon Gordon's in third. Kang Wu is currently leading the way. And apologies if you can hear my uh, my wheezing in my voice. I think <laughs> I think I need to get my inhaler. I've got a bit <laughs> tight chested for this video today. I'm on my like what fourth or fifth video today, so it's, it, my voice can be excused for the, this one. I would say, but hard on the brakes we go. There is Kang Wu closing rapidly onto the man with I think the old Polis Bargro helmet, the old HP Pons 40 rider. Uh, five tenths of a second is the gap. We're still comfortably ahead of Marilyn Gordon. And Kang Wu is really struggling now. If he doesn't go to the pits now, I'd be shocked. <laughs> Should we get in his way there so he doesn't pit? Oh my goodness. Did, he, did we go through him ever so slightly then? I think we might have done. But either or, it doesn't really matter. 1.8 seconds up the road we are now. Well, five and a half seconds, but 1.8 compared to our best lap earlier. We will have two more exchanges here in Andalusia. Just two more laps before we take victory, before I can get a beverage and before I can get my inhaler. <laughs> I'll definitely need it now. So into the right hand side for turn six. Almost five tenths of a second quicker. These laps are what's going to count now. I'm going to push to my maximum. I'm going to push so much that even if we crash, we'll still have a massive advantage. I'm feeling good now here in Andalusia. Uh, I've got the I've got the bug, I've got the rhythm, I've got the groove. Here's the cones. Oh, I didn't actually hit the cones. And I got a bit deep there, actually, matter of fact. But still good. I want to know what our sector time is going to be. Into sector two, the split is almost well it is, it's half a second. Six tenths of a second is going for the favour of Doc's race right now. What lap time are we gonna produce here? This could be the one and only 155 lap time here in Andalusia in the endurance race. Pretty good stuff. And what I've got to say as well is this Kawasaki Ninja zx 7 rr EM is brilliant. I really like this endurance bike. It, it feels so responsive. It's so nimble and it's just so good on the brakes as well. I, I really, really like this bike. But I think it's the... Is it the second time I've done this endurance with, with this bike? With an with the endurance race, should I say? I'm going to have to try something different next time around. Next time I do an endurance ro uh, endurance race, let me know in the comment section down below what bike you want me to use. And I'll definitely accommodate that for the next endurance race. But this is it then, guys and gals. Into the left-hand side and across the line. Oh, our tyre is looking bit bad now. But we're up by 1.5 seconds. I was talking about the first 155 lap time. We're actually looking at a 1 foot 54. Wow. Just a tenth away from a 154. But at this stage, the tyre... Oh, yeah. Not happening. The tyre didn't want it anymore. And I'm trying to cross the line, uh, well, at least the, the corner, just so I don't get any more penalty. But 4.2 seconds we lost in that corner. Wow. So we won't be getting a 154. But with the rear tyre looking like it is, I must confess, I, I probably do need to be a little bit more gentle now. I think we've done our statement. We're going to win by a, a good margin, six and a half seconds. And of course, in the bag, is a 155.055. And there's my attempt at getting the cones. If everyone else can do it, then why can't I do it? Why can't I hit the cones? Anyone else can. I'm going to do it. So onto the brakes, into turn 12. Trying to follow this corner round that's a bit deep. Ooh. <laughs> Can you imagine if I blew it now? Oh, seven second advantage. If we crash there, it would be blown. And we don't really have the tyre now to fight against Marilyn Gordon or Johan Nielsen. So maybe just reel it in a little bit, Dr. Ace. Because we have time to win. And we have time in our pockets. Best not to throw it away on a whim. Unless the rear tyre just explodes now. <laughs> You never know, maybe it just completely delaminates and we just break. 
who knows. But anyway, into 17, this is going to be a very successful career mode video, and I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed it. I, I really have. I love doing these endurance races. It's so much fun. And I really like just churning up the lap times, getting better and better. I feel a little bit slow on Ride 5 recently. I don't know what it is. I just don't seem to be feel very competitive. So I'm hoping this is a good spot for me to improve. So into the left-hand side, across the line, we are victorious here in Andalusia. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, then ensure to subscribe. I'll upload videos every single day, so it's a great place to be if you want to see more bike content. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.